Thank you for joining me for your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 11th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. There's an absolutely brilliant angle between the Sun and Pluto this week. But it is going to link in with the full moon, which occurs on Tuesday in the sign of Taurus, which is very much to do with security. Whereas Scorpio, the sun, is very much to do with transformation. In a more practical sense, it can be about longer term finances, business, investment, entrepreneurship. In this opposition with the moon, something may need to be realigned, but Pluto is going to assist being in a very positive angle to both positions. Pluto is very positive if we can sacrifice ourselves to its influence. So if we resist change because we do want to maintain the status quo at all costs, it can get a bit bumpy. But if we just recognize that change doesn't have to be in a physical or material sense, it can be inside of ourselves. So if there has been something that's been stuck about how you feel about yourself, how you feel about your interrelations with someone you're intimate or close to, or you share a financial partnership, well, I think that Pluto can shine light into the darker corners of this, the hidden side, because the more insight that you can gain from Pluto, the better it's going to be. So this is a full moon January that I think can be very positive. There's also a terrific angle this week between Mars in the sign of Libra, very much about balance, but it's forging a great link to the ruler of Libra, Venus, and also Jupiter, which themselves are in a conjunction. This combination can make us very confident. It can give us the push to be more playful, to socialize more, to interact. Whereas that Scorpio energy can be a bit sheltered, maybe a bit wary of what people's motives are, quite rightly. So when it comes to money or investment, I wouldn't be rushing in where angels fear to, to tread, simply because Mars and Jupiter are pushing us to be that much more risk-taking. But what I think they can do is ask us to be a bit more abandoned, especially when it comes to our social situations. Just be conscious that if you meet someone who seems amazing, and it's entirely possible with Jupiter and Venus in a conjunction, because Neptune is squaring up to these two and provides a kind of swirling mist of unreality, if this person or a scheme you're told about seems better than anything you've ever heard about before, well, they might be, but just like the rest of us, they've probably got a few catches, glitches or bumps to their uh, modus operandi or their personality. So just stay res resolutely grounded. And of course, with Mercury still tracking backwards, that does provide another potential for mischief. But it will be next week that Mercury goes forwards in Scorpio and Mars, the co-ruler of Scorpio, also rules, uh, moves into Scorpio. And that's going to be a very exciting phase to look forward to. Your specific forecast, Pisces, shows that with Mercury still tracking backwards, being clear as possible around agreements, contracts, travel plans, anything to do with higher education, if you do want to expand your world, you're, you're looking to have any kind of links to overseas, everything needs to be microscopically managed. And if you do do that, you can reduce the potential for Mercury to create mischief. But also, there is a full moon this week. So I think generally, communications is very much to the fore, the whole concept of it. Now, in terms of your communications with people of influence, Venus and Jupiter, Jupiter your ruler, come together in your 10th solar house, suggesting that you could really impress somebody who can have a very uh, important bearing on your future. So it's possible that someone you work with could be some kind of guide or be very much a supporter of you, an advocate for you to move forwards, or it's also possible that someone you've just always looked up to and respected can be particularly magnanimous and generous to you this week, and that can be very gratifying. It is true that your co-ruler Neptune does 
cause a bit of a fuzzy edge with the combination between Venus and Jupiter. So if someone does seem to be very, very kindly and helpful, that's wonderful, but still try to be as practical and realistic about why this may be. But with Pluto feeding into that full moon, changes very much in the works, particularly around your aspirations, not just your more physical desires around success, around material aims or money. So just finding your way in life in a way which really inspires you, but dealing with this Mercury retrograde is really the story of this week. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.